So, I want to take us to the Word of God this morning. We're going to talk about certain things. Our theme for the year is a focus on Christ for the anointing for increase. And every month we take a part of that word, increase, and we break it down. Last month we talked about several things along the lines of increase. In January we talked about increase. And this month of March we're going to talk about increase as well. The theme for March is to show Christ and to make Christ known everywhere. So we're going to focus on Christ for the anointing to make Christ known everywhere. And as part of that discussion, we're going to be talking today about how do you show Christ. And I'll be talking about showing Christ in us. Because the truth is, for Christ to show, we have to show. Because Christ no longer has a physical body. And so the physical body which Christ has now is the body of the person sitting next to you. Say, look at the person next to you, say, I'm seeing Christ in you. Tell them I'm seeing Christ in you. Now, if that person is a very wicked person and you are lying, don't worry. By the time we finish, you will see Christ in them in Jesus' name. <laughs> but the point is this, that because we can't see Christ anywhere else, it's only us. That means that when people see us, they see Christ. Now, if people see you and they see a timid, weak, poor person who has no personality, who has no knowledge, who has no understanding, then they equate that to the gospel which you preach. So that's why I keep saying, look, we must come out and show the Christ in us. The Christ in you is not weak. The Christ in you is not a poor person. The Christ in you is not without knowledge. As a matter of fact, Christ is made wisdom unto us. So that means then anywhere you go, I should see the Christ in you. It should emerge. Now, I'm taking a different angle. I'm proposing to you today that everything you do should be excellent. I should see you as somebody who knows what they're doing. Because when I see you as perfect, when I see you as knowledgeable, I see Christ as knowledgeable. So I will talk today about a theme which I call Emerge. Because it is time for you to emerge so we can see Christ in you. All right, so tell someone next to you, tell someone next to you, tell them, say, please emerge. Tell them, emerge and show Christ in you. Emerge and show Christ in you. Now I'm saying this because I said this, that for us to emerge, we have to start doing big things. You can't play small because the Christ in you is not small. Papa told us before that the Holy Spirit in you is not a baby. So for those of us who are teenagers, there's the same Holy Spirit. There's no teenage Holy Spirit. There's no baby Holy Spirit. It's one spirit. So the same spirit that was in Archbishop Idahosa that caused him to do miracles is the same spirit in you who's a teenager. It's the same spirit in you who's in university. It's the same spirit in you who's in children's class. Because there's no baby Holy Spirit that's growing up as you grow up. There's one Holy Spirit. Which means then that if I want to heal the sick, as an adult, I can heal the sick. But even a baby can also heal the sick. A teenager, that's you right there. You can heal the sick in Jesus' name. Because the power of the gospel is in you. There is no qualification that says you must be this height before you have the Christ in you. Or it must be this wide to have Christ show in you. So Christ in me, which is every single one of us, is the hope of glory. So I'll talk to you today about the word emerge and show the Christ in you. I'm going to read three verses or three scriptures. Then we'll go and talk about that. All right. So the first scripture is from, from Isaiah 60 verse 1. Isaiah 60, you know it very well. Arise, shine, for the light has come. But I'm going to add to that before that, Isaiah 59, verse 21, to give it context. Okay, so let's start from Isaiah 59, verse 21. Isaiah 59, 21 says this. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. NIV or NKJV if you can. My spirit that is upon thee or upon you... That spirit is the one 
that th those words I have put in your mouth. So let's read it again. It says, as for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit that is upon you and my words that I have put in your mouth shall not depart from your mouth or out of the mouth of your offspring or out of the mouth of your children's offspring, says the Lord, from this time forth and forevermore. Now Isaiah 60 verse 1 says this, Arise, shine, arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen, or is risen, or rises on you. Next verse, verse 2. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick darkness is over the people, but the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears upon you. Then says the end verse 3, nations shall come to your light, and brightness, kings to the brightness of your dawn. Here's what this means, because we don't seem to understand it sometimes. If you must arise and shine, it's because there's something in you that the world is looking for. So, I'm tired of Christians being the ones who have the dullest grades in school, or being the ones who don't have the sense, or being the ones who are the poor ones, or being the ones who don't understand what the world is doing. And so it's the secular people that we rush to to go and hear their wisdom. When the truth is all knowledge is deposited into Christ, and Christ is put into you. I shared this last week in my talk about excellence. So here's the next part, okay? So it says here, arise, shine. If you're going to arise, it means there's light inside of you. It means there's light inside of you. It means there's light inside of you. There's light in you. There is light in you. So that light must arise. That light must shine. Let's go to the next verse, okay? It says here that nations will come to your light and kings will come to your rising. Now, I like this because many times we always talk about that verse that says, do you see a man who is diligent in his work? That man will not serve before mean men. He will serve before kings. I told you my friend Nee was talking to me. He said, look, shouldn't we be the ones that kings come to talk to as Christians? Should we always be the ones who are going to stand before kings? Or should we be the ones that kings come to talk to? I don't know about you, but if the light of God is in me, I should not be the one going to go and bow down to the governors or the president or anybody else. They should be the ones coming to me to say, wait, let us talk to you. I might make sense to anybody this morning. Our first archbishop was one that the world knew. Even the Nigerian president or Nigerian dictators would hear him and say, yes, sir. That's the light of Christ shining in you. As opposed to us being the one who are bowing down. Hey, 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 he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Why? You have the light of God in you. But for you to do that, you must emerge. You must start doing big things. Start thinking big thoughts. Stop playing small. Because the God in you is not small. Someone say amen. amen. Okay, how do I know this? If you look at Colossians chapter 3, verse 3, it says this. It says, for you died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. So therefore, if my life is hidden with Christ in God, the next verse makes sense says because when Christ who is your life appears then you also will appear with him in glory so please follow these thoughts now Isaiah says it's time for you to arise it's time for you to shine stop being the one who's at the back start coming to the front why because when you died Christ died or when Christ died you died my life is now hidden in Christ. So therefore, when Christ appears, because Christ has glory, I should display glory. Thank you. You should display glory. But you have been hiding for too long. It's time to emerge. Okay, so look at Acts chapter 3. In Acts 3, the story is told about Peter and John, and they were going to the gate called Beautiful. If you look in Acts 3 verse 1, it says here, Peter and John went to the temple 
at the hour of prayer, which is the ninth hour. And as they went there, a man who was lame from his mother's womb saw them. He was asking for alms every day. And so he asked for alms from Peter, from, from Peter and John. And so they put their eyes on him and said, look at us. He says, so the man said, okay, good, I'm looking. Because he was, he was expecting them to bring money from their pockets. But they said something different. They said this, silver and gold I don't have. But what I do have, I'm going to give to you. It says, in the name of Jesus, NIV please, if you can, rise up and do what? Walk. Then the next verse says this, it says, and he reached his hand down and he picked him up. Okay? Taking him by the right hand, he helped him up and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong. And he left there walking and leaping, praising God. You are going to perform miracles in Jesus' name. You shall perform miracles in Jesus' name. People should see you, say, I need prayer. And when you pray for them, that dead will rise up in Jesus' name. It's time for you to emerge. So what do I mean? Let me bring it all together. Okay? These three verses, Isaiah 60 shows God talking to the people of Israel. Not one person, but to all of them. Saying, look, as a nation, it's time for you to arise. Kings will start coming to you. In Colossians, Paul tells us, look, because Christ is in you and you are in Christ, when Christ appears, whatever Christ has, you have. You appear as well. Okay? Then I give the example now of James, James and John. Somebody was lame, couldn't walk, looking for money, and said, look, we don't have money, but what we have, we are going to give to you. Now, rewind. This is Peter. Peter just some few days earlier, two months earlier, less than that, was with Jesus and he said, do you know Jesus? And fear gripped him. He said, no, I don't know him. Three times he denied Jesus. But Christ came back, forgave him, said, Peter, do you love me? He said, yes, feed my sheep. Do you love me? Gather my sheep together. Do you love me? Feed my sheep. Okay, so he tells him, feed my sheep. And a few days later, when Christ goes up, Peter goes to the temple and somebody now is lame. Christ had given the same power that he had to raise cripples to Peter. So Peter that was timid now emerged as a healer. You will emerge as a healer in Jesus' name. You will emerge as wealthy in Jesus' name. You will emerge with wisdom in Jesus' name. You will emerge with knowledge in the name of Jesus. Because what used to be is time for that old life to die. Let me explain and give you an example. To emerge means to come out. To emerge means to come forth into view. To emerge means to rise up or rise forth. So emerge means to come into existence or to develop. So you know in biology about butterflies, a caterpillar comes in, it's crawling, it's crawling, and then it goes into a cocoon, and between 9 and 14 days later, what comes out? The caterpillar emerges as a butterfly. There's no resemblance to what it was before. Are you following me? Something crawled in and something different emerged. That is your life before Christ. You can crawl in, you can be broke, you can be poor, you can have no sense, you can be on the ground. But when you crawl into Christ and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ has finished with you, a new you should emerge. That's what I mean by emerge. So if we have been cursing you, no problem. Tell them my life is hidden with Christ in God. So when I appear, it is Christ appearing in me. Am I talking to anybody this morning? 
Somebody here in the next 30 days, your old life will vanish in Jesus' name. Somebody here before this year is over, your brokenness, your poorness, your poverty in the name of Jesus will die. You will emerge wealthy in the name of Jesus. You will emerge as a healer in the name of Jesus. Somebody here is crawling to God today, sick. But I promise you this, your life is hidden with Christ and God. You will emerge, not just healed, but you will emerge as a healer. There's a difference. You can go in sick and you can come out healed. That's great, praise God. But what is better? Enter sick, enter the healer, and the healer enters you. When you come out, you are not just healed, but you are a healer. Which means anybody that comes near you and is sick, God forbid their star sickness will die in Jesus' name. Because just your handkerchief alone can heal them. It is better to be a healer than to be just healed. Am I making sense? May God make you a healer in Jesus' name. It is time for you to emerge. It is time for you to emerge as better. What enters inside should come out different in Jesus' name. That will be you this year in the name of Jesus. Today, when, when we go to Christ's table, you will come out better in the name of Jesus. To emerge means to develop. It means that when you were inside that cocoon, something was changing. And the funny thing is this. If somebody was watching that they don't quite understand how metamorphosis works, they would say it's magic. That something crawled inside. Something flew out. It doesn't make sense. But that's the power that God has put into nature to show you an example of what he can do with you. You will crawl into Christ, but you will fly out victorious in Jesus' name. You will crawl in with a mentality that says, I cannot do it. But when the Christ in you wraps you up, you will come out saying, I can do it. Because Paul says this, that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Which means if you can imagine it, you can create it. So stop letting people tell you you cannot do anything. Many of us have ideas. And the first time you run into opposition, you say, e, are you sure it will work? Because you are not sure of who you are or whose you are, you drop it. And you remain a caterpillar. Many of us sometimes will see something great and we know we are on our way there, but somebody will just say something, maybe on Facebook, maybe on Instagram or Twitter. Twitter, you know, Twitter is very, very, they are harsh there. By the time they insult you once or twice, you just give up your idea. No! The Christ in you has wisdom. You will not give up in Jesus' name. You must emerge. But here's the thing, I want you to know this. Look, it is time for you to understand that you must arise and shine. Because it's time for you to stop hiding the gifts in you. The gift in you is somebody's answer. The knowledge in your head is somebody's victory. The wisdom you have, somebody is praying to get. Those gifts in you are there for a reason. God did not put them there by mistake. They are to change you and to change someone's life. But avoid those people who continually tell you you can't make it. Because they specialize in creating fear but in the end have created nothing. They are masters of fear, masters of doubt, and creators of nothing. But you on the other hand, are a master creator in Jesus' name. So what is in you must come out in the name of Jesus. Don't let the enemy hold you back because the excellence in you has been waiting for years. And in the year 2022, it is time for it to come out in Jesus' name. The grace of God in you has been waiting and this is the day it must come out in Jesus' name. The lame man was crippled. 
And today, people are crippled as well too. They are waiting for you. People are crippled by fear because they are afraid of things around them. People are crippled by alcohol and drug abuse. They are waiting for you to set them free. People are crippled by anger, by hate, by resentment, by negative attitudes. They are waiting for you to set them free. People are crippled by bitterness. They are crippled by unforgiveness. They are waiting to hear from you so they can be set free. Only Christ can bring the healing that the world needs. But guess where Christ is? Christ is inside you, which means that you can bring the healing the world needs. You are also a healer. Okay, so here's the thing you must understand. When Peter spoke, Peter spoke with the authority of the name of Jesus. You have the authority of the name of Jesus. So it's not just to heal physically. You can also heal mentally. You can also heal people who are down and out. It's time for you to emerge. Now throughout this month, I'll be talking about emerging. So this, is just a, this is just an introduction. But you must understand this, that new beginnings, new beginnings, that means you crawl in and you come out as with a new beginning. That new beginning will require new skills, will require new knowledge. So please don't try to fly with the knowledge you had when you were crawling. That means this, you must take the time to learn something new. Because I cannot face new challenges with old knowledge. I cannot do great things unless the Christ in me has empowered me. So the first thing you must do is be empowered by Christ. Then begin to gather what you need to know. And then do the things that you must do. Let me tell you, and I'll close with this and continue next week. Somebody is waiting for you to kill your Goliath. David killed Goliath and David emerged as a warrior and a king. People were waiting for him to kill Goliath. Before Goliath was killed, they were there and they were all watching. They were waiting for David to emerge. Somebody is waiting for you to kill Goliath because that victory will give them power to stand. Somebody is waiting for you to come out of a lion's den. Daniel was praying. But until he went to lion's den and proved that the God he served could shut the mouth of lions, the king did not believe. Are you following me? But when the king saw him, Daniel emerged. That's the word of God saying, arise, shine. Kings will come to your light. Does that make sense now? Because the king liked him, but was, not, was afraid to support him. But when he emerged, having had victory over the lions, that king came to the light that was in him. That was the Old Testament before Christ came. Imagine you now who has Christ in you, the hope of glory. Should kings not come to you? They should. People should see you. They are waiting for you to emerge from your lion's den. People are waiting for you as Lazarus to rise from the dead. I mean you. You have been dead in your thinking. Dead in your old mindsets. Dead in the place where you were before. Christ comes and Christ says, look, Lazarus, come forth. When Lazarus came out, the people that were around him in the whole area ran to believe in Jesus. They were waiting for a sign. People are waiting for your sign. Somebody is waiting for you, like Peter and John, to come to the gate called Beautiful and bring them healing. We are waiting for you to emerge. Stop hiding. Stop hiding your healing gifts. Stop hiding your knowledge. Stop hiding the power of Christ in you. Stop hiding that which has been put into you. Now let me tell you one thing that was common to all of these people. One thing that was common was adversity. 
there was something which made them shake a bit. But you see this. They entered the adversity crawling. David entered it crawling. He had killed a bear before, a lion before, but he had not met the adversity called Goliath. When he killed Goliath, he emerged as a warrior and a king. Follow me now. Daniel had been praying on his window once, twice, three times a day. He had been crawling. He met the adversity called the lion's den. When he emerged, he emerged as someone who had defeated lions by speaking prayer. The prayer in your mouth can cause any enemy around you to die in Jesus' name. It can cause you to have victory. And when he emerged out of adversity, he came out stronger. People came to hear him. I told you about Lazarus. Lazarus died. And the sister said, oh, Jesus, if you had only come a few days earlier on. But they knew Jesus as a healer. They knew Jesus as someone who could lay hands on the sick. So they said, okay, Jesus, if you had come a few days before and laid hands on him as a sick person, he would have been healed. They did not know Jesus as the resurrection and the life. So when they met Jesus says, you knew me as a healer here, but I am also the resurrection and the life. Now, here's the thing for you. You are about to meet the resurrection and life. Whatever you had that was dead before, God is speaking to you this morning. I'm going to raise it back to life in Jesus' name. Your adversity will make you emerge differently. Something will come that will shake you but it will not kill you in Jesus' name. Let me say it again. Something will come that will shake you, but it will not kill you in the name of Jesus. When the adversity of that cocoon comes, what will come out will look different from what came in. They will look for you on the ground as a caterpillar, but you say, no, 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 I'm not there anymore. I'm flying high. I'm soaring high. Is anybody ready to soar high in Jesus' name? So shall it be in the name of Jesus. What you used to be will not be what you are going to be in the name of Jesus. What we used to call you will be different now because tomorrow when you soar, we will see you in the sky. We will see you rising because the word of God says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Tell someone next to you, say, Emerge. Tell them, I will emerge. This year, I will emerge. This year, I will emerge differently. This year, what I used to be is not what I'm going to be. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Somebody is waiting for you to emerge because you have the authority of Christ in you. Please, don't define who you are now by where you used to be. What happened to you is not who you are. You are going to emerge. You are going to emerge. And when you emerge, you will show the Christ in you. A butterfly comes out and shows the glory of God around it. But guess what? Do you know that butterflies cannot see their own wings? Let me tell you again. A butterfly cannot see its own wings because its eyes are in the front. So it can't see the beauty of what it has become. So if it looks back for what it used to be, it will not think it has that beauty. But Everybody else can see the beauty of that butterfly. Your beauty is coming out in Jesus' name. You may not see it right now, but I promise you this. The God who took you from crawling on the ground and put you inside of him says, My life is hidden with Christ and God. That God is going to make you emerge as beautiful, as better, as stronger, 
as a healer, as a deliverer in the name of Jesus. Your beauty is going to be something that we'll speak about. Your beauty shall be talked about in Jesus' name. It's time for you to start doing big things. Start thinking big thoughts. Start achieving great things because the God in you is not a junior Holy Spirit. It's the almighty God. I gave you the illustration about, about a funnel where a funnel is very big on top. And everything that Christ has enters that funnel and the funnel enters you. You are going to emerge stronger in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you this morning that the grace of God upon your life shall never leave in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you this morning that this year you will emerge. Because you see, it is the God in you that we are going to see. So you will emerge stronger in Jesus' name. Poverty will no longer know your address in Jesus' name. Sickness is gone from you in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you this morning that the adversity you will face this year, you will beat it hands down in Jesus' name. Because you are going to emerge as a champion. You are going to emerge stronger in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you this morning that the power of the Almighty God, just like the lame man, shall pick you up and strength will enter your ankles, your knees, your back, your shoulders in the name of Jesus. And when you emerge, you will emerge flying high in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you this morning that the power of the Almighty God shall change everything about you. From the way you look, to the way you think, to the way you behave, in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you this morning that the power of the Almighty God shall rise on the inside of you and cause you to let the world see God in a new way in Jesus' name. When they see you, they will see Christ. When they see Christ, they will see you. When they see everything about you, they will see the power of the glory of God upon you in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you this morning. That your mind will think differently. No longer shall you crawl on the ground anymore in the name of Jesus. No longer shall you be one who the world will walk by and not notice in the name of Jesus. No longer shall you be a poor boy, a poor girl as a shepherd in the bush. I'm praying for you that you will emerge as a giant killer in Jesus' name. You will emerge as a healer in Jesus' name. You will emerge as the one who has been delivered in the name of Jesus. You will emerge as the one who knows the answer in the name of Jesus. You will emerge. You will emerge stronger in the name of Jesus. You will emerge better in the name of Jesus. This year, I pray for you that when the year ends, you will not be the same as you began in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you this morning that if you need healing, not only will you be healed, but you will come out as a healer in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you that the grace of God upon your life shall open mighty 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 doors that the world shall come to your rising in jesus name i'm praying for you that everything you have asked god for you will see tenfold in the name of jesus amen let's rise to our feet this morning we're going to take communion this morning just rise to your feet rise to your feet we're going to take communion this morning please stand up we're going to pray and speak a blessing over the bread and the wine we'll pray together we'll pray together when we pray please give me the bread and the wine this morning we're going to pray this morning collectively let me tell you why because when God spoke to Isaiah to say these words arise shine for your light has come God spoke the word not to one person but to everybody it was a word spoken to the entire nation. He said, arise, shine, for your light has come. So this morning we're going to rise up and we're going to speak that our light has come in Jesus' name. We're going to rise up and declare that by the sacrifice of Jesus Christ. Can I have the bread, please? Any Come, just come on up, bring it up, bring it up, bring it up. I've been asking. We're going to speak that by the sacrifice of Jesus, 
by the sacrifice of his body being broken everything that tried to break you before no longer has power in Jesus name thank you very much that by the sacrifice of his blood whatever tries to drain life out of you no longer has that power in Jesus name the masters of fear thank you are gone those who are masters of fear and creators of nothing will have no power by you this year in Jesus name you shall be the master creator fear will run from you in Jesus name sickness will run from you in Jesus name so as we pray today I want you to lift your hands up and just receive from the Almighty God the power in his sacrifice the power that says my body was broken my blood was shed and I'm praying that before your hands come down they receive a touch from the Holy Ghost and as we take the bread today take the wine today we emerge stronger we emerge better father I pray for these hands that are raised today symbolically Lord God these hands are raised to you and we ask that you touch them in the name of Jesus father I raise the bread I raise the wine and I ask that you touch it as well too that everyone who takes and eats today everyone who drinks today receives the life that you died for on the cross father on that cross as life left you life entered us so I speak today healing in the name of Jesus this bread shall bring healing in Jesus name this wine shall bring life in Jesus name I speak today Lord God deliverance and I speak today an emergence an emergence because it is the Christ in us that the world needs to see so I pray that as we take of the bread and the wine today your children emerge your children emerge and show the God in them thank you father that the God in us the Christ in us the Holy Ghost in us shall bring every attribute to bear in our lives in the name of God the Father God the Son God the Holy Ghost we pray amen please take and eat this morning receive the wine receive the bread you are my strength strength like no Sweat like no other reaches to me. as you take the bread and the wine this morning also take the oil as well too anoint yourself for healing anoint yourself for victory anoint yourself that you are coming out emerging better emerging stronger this year you will not be the same as you were last year this year you will not be the same as you used to be this year you are going to see Hallelujah. victory in the name Hallelujah. of Jesus the Word of God declares that there is victory in the blood of Jesus the Word of God declares it says that by his stripes you have been healed so you are emerging this year healed and a healer anoint yourself take the bread take the wine and be what God has said you will be in the name of Jesus hallelujah 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 I pray right now for your children that you bless them in the name of Jesus. Touch them as they are home right now, eating the bread, drink, drinking the wine. You are healed in the name of Jesus. You are strengthened in the name of Jesus. You will emerge alive to bring glory to God in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are my friend. Yeah.
want you to just begin to pray right now begin to claim that strength as you are there sitting down or you're watching online or you're sitting down here or standing begin to claim that strength over your life in Jesus name begin to speak that strength over your life in Jesus name that you will emerge stronger I want to hear you pray this morning I want to hear you pray this morning tell yourself that the strength of God is entering into your body right now in the name of Jesus tell yourself right now that the strength of God is taking you from the ground to lift you up in the name of Jesus because in the fullness of his grace there is where you find mercy there's where you find strength that is the place where you will see grace to stand in the name of Jesus Hebrews says that we can come boldly before the throne of grace and find grace to help in time of need if you are here this morning and you need that help begin to claim it right now in Jesus name don't just sit there and look around begin to speak that you have strength speak that you have power speak that you have life because indeed he is your strength he is your life he is your power that is there when you are in the darkness he will give you life in the name of Jesus he will lift you up hallelujah time I want you to just stand one more time and I want you to understand this that what we're doing here today is not something that we're doing for joke or because we feel like doing it or because it's a it's a ritual I want you to understand this that as you partake of Christ's body as you partake of his blood you are going to receive strength we are singing about strength that's like no other if anybody here needs strength today this is the time to speak it if you know anyone that needs life right now this is the time to speak that life into them in Jesus name they might be in the hospital right now but wherever they are whether it's in Benin or across the miles speak healing to them in the name of Jesus you are going to have strength to be a healer in the name of Jesus you are going to emerge differently so as we sing one more time I want you to just begin to pray, speak in tongues, claim that strength for yourself, claim that power for yourself, claim that victory for yourself, claim the word of God in your life, that every promise in the word of God is what you will see and walk in this year in the name of Jesus. Raise your hand, raise your voice, raise your life in the name of Jesus. Strength is our portion, Lord God. Strength is our portion, Lord God. Somebody is here today. We prayed in the beginning of service that someone that has back pain is going to be healed. I want you to begin to just pray for that person right now. Pray for someone that you know who has pain in their body right now. You are going to emerge healed in Jesus' name. We pray for the person that was afraid of cancer. Wherever that cancer might be right now, we curse it in the name of Jesus. We speak to you right now in the name of Jesus that you are going to emerge differently in the name of Jesus. Somebody here today has a business. I'm praying for your business that your business will emerge differently this year in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for your career. Your career will emerge differently this year in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak because the strength of God is not a strength for joke. 
It's a strength that lifts up. It's a strength that strengthens the ankles. So if your business is weak in the ankles, speak life. It will have power in the name of Jesus. We are praying for strength for you in your career. This year, I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus that you will emerge differently. No more shall we play small. Tell yourself smallness is over in the name of Jesus. Tell yourself smallness is over in the name of Jesus. God did not make you a child of his to make you play small. It is time for you to emerge in the name of Jesus. Begin to speak it. If I have anybody else a warrior, begin to pray right now. Because you see, I told you, you are anointed. You are a king. You are a priest. You are a prophet. You are a warrior. Tell yourself that it is time to emerge as a king. It is time to emerge as a prophet. It is time to emerge as a priest. It is time to emerge as a warrior in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you today that you will see who you are in Christ in the name of Jesus. Healing is coming in Jesus' name. Healing is coming in Jesus' name. Life is coming in Jesus' name. Strength is coming in Jesus' name. I'm praying for you in the name of Jesus as you pray for yourself. And I stand with you in agreement. The word of God says, if two of us shall touch and agree, God, God himself will stand by us in the name of Jesus. So receive strength in the name of Jesus. Receive strength in your business in Jesus' name. Receive strength in your career in Jesus' name. I see you rising in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are in the law, those of you who are judges, they're going to call you back and give you a new assignment in Jesus' name. Those of you who are there are going to be called back to receive new assignments, new victory in Jesus' name. Some of you are in retirement, but God is saying to you that you are not retired or you will retire in Jesus' name. Some of you are just thinking that you have, you have done your best and God is saying to you, your best was good, but I have better for you. You are going to emerge in Jesus' name. If that's you, begin to give God a hand this morning. Begin to give God a hand this morning. Begin to thank Him because you have victory. Thank Him because you have victory. In the name of Jesus. 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 in Jesus name you crawled in you crawled in you crawled in you received strength you will fly out in Jesus name God bless you this morning hallelujah amen praise the Lord